Okay, in an upcoming interview with his close friend, Simon Cowell, Piers Morgan has now revealed that he thinks that Simon has, well, finally settled down. He's smitten, apparently, with his new girlfriend and was seen kissing her publicly at recent Britain's Got Talent auditions. In fact, Simon himself has allegedly since gone on to make the admission that she is, in fact, the one. So, I know. I'm, I'm thrilled for him. So, when did we realise that we'd found the one and were our friends in agreement with us? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know, my, my friends and family worried greatly when I met Ray. Really? Yes. Um, because I think because of everything I'd been through. So they were worried and it was like it's not going to last. And of course, it all happened so fast. I mean, Everything. And, um, <laughs> so, you tell us, Kavir. Well, you know, met in July, pregnant by September. Anyway. <laughs> um, Is it really that quick? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, there's no denying it because she's sitting over there. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we, um, so obviously they were really worried, but I, I think really it didn't take them. I mean, for me, I knew, I knew within, certainly within 48 hours that he was the one. We Did just you? immediately clicked and I was older and I'd been through so much in my life already. And it wasn't a case of, oh, it's someone interesting, I'm just going to settle, you know, for anyone. It was, we both just absolutely clicked. We made each other laugh and mm. we had loads in common. And actually loads that we didn't have in common, which made it more interesting because we'd have something to discuss. So I knew it was the one very quickly and my friends gradually over the last 10 years have realised that I'm not messing about. <laughs> uh, I think they're taking me serious. So, because it's easy to write off a relationship that starts in haste, isn't mm. it? But I suppose there are exceptions to the rule and you're certainly there. Yeah. What about you, Amanda? Well, I was eight years alone before I met the one. And, of course, he ticked none of the boxes. And at that point, I'd just given up. I remember being at this party and, and it was midsummer. It was piping hot and all the um, plants on the roof were dying. And I thought, oh... I'll water the plants, finish my drink, and then go because, you know, I was like, what am I doing here, you know? And I'm, I'm, I've water, I watered the plants, they look beautiful. And then I sat down, and this young man sat down at the same table, and he said, Oh, you're here. Oh, hello. And I thought, <laughs> What? Seven years later. Yeah, but we're still how, together. Hang on, how, how, how much younger was this? Nine job? years younger than Nine me. Nine years. And what, and what does he do? He's an artist. Um, so what did your friends say when you went, well, I'm going exactly. out with a younger man who's an impoverished <laughs> artist, they artist. think, oh, Amanda, what a catch. Like, what are you doing? And I said, falling in love. Oh. That's oh. what, what do you do? Oh. Yeah. And was it, was it instant? And also because you think as you get older, you, you, you're able to be more generous, more tolerant and compassionate to your partner in a relationship. I wasn't, I wasn't so... No <laughs> <laughs> I am, I just hope he's not. <laughs> So you get less needy and you're able to be generous and um, and that's what I felt able to do and it, it's really worked out and, um, you know, it's exceptionally good. So what did your mates think of him to, to begin with? I, you know, I think the people say to me, oh, we expected you to be with this older, erudite gentleman, you know, grey hair and lots of cash in the bank and I thought, mm. how boring is that? <laughs> Actually, it's not, because that's just described... <laughs> Exactly, Ed. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. <laughs> That's charming, that is, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, when I first met uh, my, my other half, Sue Rabin, my backing singer, knew straight away, and so did you. So did I, straight, you did. straight away. Straight away. Straight. And I think your friends can pick up on it. I just knew because you changed instantly. Did I? Yeah, you got all kind of giggly <laughs> girly, and it wasn't all I'd rather have a cup of tea anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, what shall I wear? And, mm. you know, and, and just that smile that she still yeah. got, which is <laughs> quite... Which is <laughs> quite <laughs> sick thing, really. Yeah, because you are... You are quite... Male in your attitude, yes, aren't I you? Much like Carol. <laughs> yes. and, and you've both been softened mm. by these men that have, have found their way into your lives. Oh, oh no. look, she's doing it again! <laughs> I am, I'm right giddy because he's coming home in two weeks. So. Oh. Oh. Can't wait to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no! Say, so how's, how's your toe been? Yeah. <laughs> toe? Yeah, not me, no, not his toe. Toe? His toe. <laughs> Oh, you too. Don't they speak like that on Emmerdale Farm? Yeah. They do. I mean, you I've got to speak like that to understand it, though. Uh, <laughs> you tune in and then you tune out. I'm, I'm, right. I'm back into Southern and then I can't understand Northern anymore. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>